Hey yo, welcome to episode six of the Shove It podcast. I'm here joined with the boys. Please introduce yourselves. My name is Sadi. Emily. My name is Jose. Santos and his bitch. One. And I'm Mark. And we got oh, yeah. <laughs> undisclosure. And special guest, uh, no name again, made a special appearance. <laughs> Shout out to my mama. She's watching this. I love you. Me via. Yeah. All right, let's get it started. All right, let me ask you guys a question, all right? Have y'all ever met someone famous? Yes. Who, who'd y'all meet? Well, I didn't meet them, but I saw them in L.A. I think we were together. We were all together. Matt Ox? Oh, yeah, Matt Ox. I remember, yeah, yeah. We, we did see him famous. Yeah, he was. But you didn't meet him, right? Nah, like we seen, seen him, him in the... He was in the same store as us. Like, we didn't oh, okay. have a conversation with him. We, we just saw him in person. Like, but honestly, I didn't go say so to him because I didn't really... I don't really think he was, like, all crazy like that. Um, Yeah, like, meeting them and uh, seeing them is a different thing. Because I saw Lionel Messi when they were here for the Copa America. Sheesh. But I didn't get to meet him. I just saw him, like, walk onto the bus. Dude, I was about to cry. Just, just Why? It wasn't Ronaldo. Him. Who cares about that guy? Exactly. It was you messy. You saw Who's Ronaldo that guy? walking, like, five feet from you. Bro. <laughs> if you wanted me to. <laughs> Hey, bro, he scored that Chilena against Juventus. Straight I'll do anything naked. for that, man. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, so then a few of y'all actually did meet somebody, but not meet me, just kind of seen them. Um, I've never met anyone famous. I've hardly even seen anyone famous. I think the f- most famous people I've seen is when we went to watch Atletico Madrid versus oh, yeah, that's Earthquakes. Cool. Literally the dopest player on there was Turan. So the reason why I ask if you guys have met anyone famous is because my question is, if you could meet um, anybody famous and have like a conversation with them, who would you meet and why? Personally, I would go. I would want to meet Elon Musk. I want to meet him because he looks like the person. As of right now, I believe he controlling a lot of the economy part of our life. He have came up with. He came up with a lot of idea that help the future in a way, like where you know how he like electric cars he's probably gonna be the first guy on, on mars too that's what i was thinking like yeah. on some real shit though i'm trying to meet like cake boss or some shit oh, cake who? boss who <laughs> I, I don't know his name honestly i would were... always watch that show me too you never seen wait cake me boss, who the show i've seen cake but buddy the last show every time show. he would put like the the flat thing over the cake i would just be so amazed right. Yeah, the fondant. He would make crazy ass shit. Yeah. I think one time he like, made a full I, size I, I car. Will, like I know there are so many like people who like know how to make cakes, but not gonna lie, like he's kind of iconic. Like I mean, yeah. Like you know. What well, What would you ask? That's him the only four I know that makes I cakes. I mean, like, how do you make <laughs> everything? That's that, it. That's your question. Teach me how to make everything. He's gonna give you a basic ass answer. It's just like you just. Um, you, you just you just you gotta, gotta practice. Have a good family <laughs> and love or so shit like that. I don't know. That's what I would do. That's a good one. Cake boss. Cake boss. Yeah. That's the it name was a of TV show. show. Yeah. That motherfucker could could make the most boring day at the fucking bakery seem like the world was ending, bro. <laughs> Motherfuckers like he's like they like delivered a cake. It was like of a demon in one episode. That Damn. shit, they were taking it to like a haunted, like uh, the the forest, a haunted forest or some shit. He was taking a demon. The fucking, the dude in the back dropped the fucking cake and it broke everywhere. And he was like, look at that. The demon doesn't want to come out. See, something pushed it over. And I'm like, bruh. I'm like, really? <laughs> dude, yeah, the motherfucker. <laughs> That's all cap, bro. <laughs> Oh, he's talking into the beer. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's just all cap. Dude, that motherfucker dropped the cake. And then the guy that bought the cake, he was like, yeah, I know it's really suspicious. Like, the spirit's out here. And I'm like, this motherfucker bought it, bro. <laughs> That's why I stopped watching this shit. Yeah, that shit's fake. That's all reality TV, yeah. bro. It's all so fake. nostalgic. It's kind of entertaining how bad it is. Yeah. yeah. Well, reality TV only exists for Mexican moms. <laughs> bro, my parents never let me watch Wait, what was it TV. called? Doce Corazones? No. Don't know. Doce Corazones. Although novelas and shit, yeah. Uh, the My mom still that, watches novelas. La Rosa. <laughs> yeah. Guadalupe. My mom still watches that. La Rosa de Guadalupe. Yeah. Dude, Why that shit is toxic. <laughs> I'm like, this is the most dumbest shit ever, bruh. La Rosa de Guadalupe is fucking toxic, bruh. Like one, po- one of them was like this little girl that was addicted to her phone. 
And like her mom was like, <laughs> no. Her mom was I like, why they did that? Her mom was like, you're too addicted to the phone, and throws it out the window, and the kid jumps out the window. And she gets hit by a car. <laughs> nah, bro, she just falls. She hello, falls it's like two that. stories, Chill. and she falls. Chill, and then it's like, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> bro, I need to show that episode to my little sister. <laughs> Like, see, see, and it's yeah, real. She, I think she like maybe dies, or she just goes to the <laughs> hospital. I don't think she dies, bro. Uh, I think yeah, she, I don't think they, they wouldn't let, they wouldn't let her die. All right, she probably oh like La Rosa de Guadalupe saved her. That's shit. one great way uh, to uh, kill uh, off a hospital, character. and there's like a random white flower there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey. oh, no. I don't know if I have a celebrity, but I think it would be cool to meet like. Yeah, I guess that's pretty cool. I, I, I've i been watching um, the, the guy. one from the zoo. Oh, Steve Irwin? Yeah. No, not him, but that would be another cool person to meet. Yeah. I like I like whenever he describes animals. Very, very. Crikey! <laughs> <laughs> this guy, crikey. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. I understand that way. She's like, oh, shit. <laughs> I don't okay. know what the fuck you're saying. like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all just Crikey. jumped out of nowhere. All right. Sure. Like, we're like, bless you, bro. Shut my thumb in his butt. Oh, <laughs> bro. I don't fucking I don't know. I didn't, watch, I, didn't, I didn't watch that episode, bro. <laughs> hey, hey why'd you be watching that shit on my boy? All right, so who would you be, Juan? Since it could be anyone, I'll choose, like, me when I'm about to die. That's actually kind of interesting. That is an interesting point, but I think he said celebrity. I did say celebrity, but hey, that you're your own celebrity. What the yeah. fuck? Oh, maybe, maybe I'm on the Shove It podcast, bro. Oh, oh, oh shit. All right. All right. Hey, that makes sense. That makes sense. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I'd, I'd want to talk to my future self. I wouldn't want to ask like a specific question, you know, like, oh, what would you do in this situation? I would want to ask more of a, more like advice. I just want to hear myself out, like, be uh, told like hey Juan like this life you could have done this or like you should have done this or like not not I don't even know dude that's such a hard like would you want to you know, know what that? I would tell myself I what would you tell yourself about it's, it's I very like, huh? there's like it's like a lot of future talk movies talking about like the future coming back to the past and talk to yourself I was just telling myself damn bro you're about to die huh <laughs> like make, make myself laugh one more time Oh, and then uh, just like comfort yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you know, dude, like you laugh, out, bro. you laugh hella hard. You're like, ha ha. Oh. <laughs> I'm not even gonna laugh. Myself dude. To death? As I've gotten older, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <bro. laughs> I was like, you good? What the fuck? Yeah, every like time that. he was like, <laughs> it's <was> like. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, nah, that's kind of dark. <laughs> honestly, I, I don't know what I would tell myself. I would probably just look at myself. Yeah, I just want to be like, I, just, I wouldn't ask anything. I would just rather be told information or like something, you know, like something that only I would get and that would help me in my presence and in my present and like for whatever is to come. I was just going to say, like, I've seen like a lot of like posts where it's, it's just literally just older people and they say like, like simple things like, um, like love people around you, be happy, like don't take things seriously. And like, I think of that when like, I feel like anxious or some shit. I this mean, yeah, uh, I guess. girl that used to work at a retirement home, and she says she like seen a lot of people, old people die, like because you know she works at a retirement yeah. home. It's like can happen. Yeah. And she says she in inter- like she asked people like like three questions and like the over like two like over like over like two hundred people she asked she asked the questions to like that. And like eighty, like eighty to ninety percent said like the top three things that they wish they did differently was work less, and let themselves be happy, and keep your friendships with the people you have. I, I think I, it was on TikTok, no? Yeah, that's right. So yeah, I think I've seen that too. Uh, yeah, it was like people it, have like the best advice because yeah, they, they've been through it all. Yeah, the lady was you know, like, I love those TikToks. Yeah, yeah, they're wholesome. I every Friday I work with this family. Uh, Basically, my job is I work with like a special needs adults and such and kind of help them with independent living. Uh, and I work with this one person on uh, on Fridays and he is, I believe, 55 and he's honestly in the very low spectrum of the things, right? He's like not independent at all, but he's such an innocent like sweetheart. 
and his mom is 85. Oh, she's she's 85. They have no family here. Like, they live here by themselves. Um, their family's from Germany, so they're over here all by themselves. They live in a world that's completely forgotten them. They have no idea about technology. Everyone's always trying to scam them and use them and stuff. But every time I, I go over, I always, like, stay over time with them. Like, not even getting paid or anything. I just like hearing her talk because she has so much to tell. She has so much to tell, and it's like she'll talk forever. Like, for an 85-year-old lady, she doesn't stop talking, and she's always laughing at her problems and stuff. She still has soul. Yeah. That's probably what keeps her going. And that's probably her son, too, because, you know, like, who the she hell is going to be weak around him, I guess. I mean, you feed off. I'm sure she he feeds off of her energy. Yeah, exactly. it's. Yeah. I'm not sure, but all I know is that like every time she comments about her problem, because apparently she has a lot, she laughs and she says, "Yeah, I just have to laugh at all. So I have to laugh out my problems, or else I'm gonna go crazy in here." Mm-hmm. And I'm like, "Damn, bro, it, who would you meet and why, Josie?" I think it would have to be Lionel Messi, the first soccer player that I knew, and this was so late because I didn't really watch sports. I would watch Mexico, like, play, like, all the time and shit. But I wouldn't watch, like, Barcelona or the league. Not until high school. When everybody was like, hey, bro, Real Madrid or Barca. Yeah, like, dude, what? it's nuts. That was actually my first soccer game I've ever watched, too. Yeah. It was literally Real Madrid versus Barca. Who won? Club soccer game. Who won? Madrid, of course. 3-1. You feel me? Ronaldo scored. Nah, Barca. One first of game ever watching was a Puma game, bro. What would you ask Lionel Messi, though? Like, what would you talk to him about i want to know like i want to ask him if he ever had like you know any like doubt in the field like in his game because you know like when when he plays he looks like he knows exactly what the fuck to do like all the time that's what it looks like because in high school and playing and shit Mm -hmm. i would i would have doubt in my head like all the fucking time like i wouldn't even focus on the game and i would focus on like the people watching <laughs> what is one thing about me on the field that you guys always recognize thick so at least one minute. oh british one thing wait what <laughs> british what? no 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 and you would no no hey, no, hey, no no hey. no 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 bruv nah you fucking not sick <laughs> you fucking me. scallywag not, playing, right? <laughs> not me fucking around at practice or like calling uh, people a little this little shit that fuckhead but i'm talking about in a game you fucker like, you i'm <laughs> i'm like dead serious hey. trying to fucking win the game like what is one thing you guys always recognize about me on the field? You little juke motherfucker for sure. That's one thing. I think if you're like really serious, serious leadership for sure. Yeah, I was going to say like you would vocalize a lot. Yeah. I would scream my asses off in the game. like <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> Both of them, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Dude, I would. People like all the there coaches would come up to me. Here. All the coaches would come up to me and like. You scream a lot, but like I like that. They would tell me that, but that at the same time, like I, I was just like, dude, that's kind of embarrassing. Like, so like for me, I let my instinct do the stuff that's happening in that moment. Obviously, you will be able to read the game where like this is how the game should be going if it goes this way. But like you still let your instinct do the work. Like you play your game. Who would you like to meet? Mm-hmm. I don't know, honestly. Mm, okay, I know. Part of Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey oh, Hussle. Okay. Yeah. Why? I like that. Because he's always he's he's always one of the guys that I've looked to like try to mold my life around for like how I think about like what we were talking about earlier, like problems and stuff. He's always like been like hella real with everything, like hella like raw with everything, like yeah. talking about how you're like gonna take losses, but you gotta learn how to live with that and make let them make you better and stuff like that yeah i feel like he could teach me he can teach you and me and everyone in this room a lot bro his awesome name bullshit. is hustle <laughs> yeah. hustler yeah not even because he's like famous but if he was like wasn't famous and he was still like that i would probably yeah, yeah. Good, i feel like think he is famous because he got to um like express himself on yeah. a bigger platform because yeah. if he wasn't fa- like i'm sure there are people like nipsey hustle that are like super wise but because they don't have a platform to talk on, you never get to hear it. But if you go to like some other podcast, and <laughs> and there's there's videos like on the internet about him, like he just wanted to be treated like a normal person. Yeah. I'm sure a like lot all of all the time. Yeah. 
Wait, so do you think that's why that's why they they killed him? Because he was like he didn't care about being like he didn't think of himself as a celebrity, so he was caught. I don't know. I, f- I feel like story. it's just more of a op. <laughs> You know, no, but I mean, but that's yeah. what, that's what he's saying. Like he was by himself and shit. He wasn't. Oh yeah, yeah, like, he, he definitely was by himself because yeah. he yeah. doesn't yeah. have security and shit. Yeah. No yeah. security. Just he was in his own hood. He, right? Yeah, yeah. I think they found out who it was, but um, I think it was actually somebody close. So yeah, no. yeah, like yeah. someone in his own group. Oh. I don't know, but I don't know. Group, I don't know. I think like that fool. I'm not sure. But there's a video online where he's like hanging with his girlfriend, like in a parking lot of a like in a liquor store, like in a parking lot, and there's like a guy recording him. And he gets like hella mad and like starts like he, he starts probably doing too much but he like goes in their car and like like starts taking their phone and like recording him and like talking about like how how would you like it if someone just goes up in your face when i'm trying to talk to my oh wife yeah and i've seen like that, that video and then he, he was talking Dude, about like how that's one okay that's one thing i also hate about paparazzi dude pr- annoying when you see the video you're just like they'd be off all over you, they're, bro. They're always gonna be like that. It's so annoying. It, like, it's so crazy. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> I don't think I was meant to be famous. Huh. I'd probably be the same way. It's, it's I'd probably hate that shit. Oh yeah. Everybody, bro. everybody that's famous bro, hates bro, that I shit. Seen, I even seen that video where like someone's at Kanye's house at like 5 a.m. He's like, "Good morning, Kanye." He's like, <laughs> yeah, bro." He's like, "Shut the, Shut fuck, the up. fuck up, <laughs> bro." But what are they doing at your house at 5 a.m. with a yeah, camera? Like, dude, hey. like, weird. I oh, hey. I think it hurt was his neighbor, no? When. I, I think it was like outside of his hotel or something like that. Cool. Justin, Justin Bieber. Bieber. Oh, bro, have you seen the one with uh, Tobey Maguire? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they play the Spider-Man music. <laughs> 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 you throw a little, a little dirt in your eye. <laughs> Honestly, I fucking love Tobey Maguire, bro. Huh? What did he do? There's one. I've seen. There's one where like he's driving out, yeah. and the popping rod is right next to him. Boom! On purpose. Yeah. Get out the way! Yeah, he was. Hello, he's like, wow. I can't fucking see, motherfucker. There's cars coming. Yeah, that shit was yeah. so funny, dude. Hey, but dude, like, I'm he's just right. being real. Yeah. He's just being and real. Then, and then the paparazzi is like, you can go. We're covering for you. Like, and like, it's like, said that, bro. and then what? And then when he goes out, and if he gets hit by a car, they're like, oh, he crashed. Yeah. Yeah. It's like right. It's your fault. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. like Luke, who you dumbass. fucking dickheads. <laughs> yeah, that's so paparazzi. That's so fucking what, annoying. People that stand up for themselves. Yeah, that too. Yeah, me too. What, I, I never would think like, bro. The paparazzi really think they're in the right at yeah, all. Like, like they think they're in the some, right. Some of them do. Yeah. I'm like, bro, you're out in public with a fat ass fucking camera recording a family eating fucking would, dinner would, somewhere. I don't know. It just pisses me off when they have like their like the celebrity has their kids with them, and then there's paparazzi. I'm like, this is a whole ass family. They, dude. they don't like, care because they're like, this is my job, exactly. and this is how I make a living, and this is how I bring like, well, money to my family. If they don't get a good story, they get fired. Yeah. That's yeah. That's. I, that should be illegal. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Like, literally, find another job then. Like, your job isn't it's, doing It's always going to happen. It's world. like have, as like asking consent to be recorded. Yeah. But, like, those paparazzi did just do it. I mean, and, like, they're, they're okay with it. Listen, public. if it's your favorite celebrity, there's people that are going to want to know what the fuck they're doing. Oh. And the only way you can find out what they're doing and their personal life is paparazzi. Okay, but, like, the way they approach them, though, is very, like, there's going to be some paparazzi that are, like, cool yeah, and shit. Right? There's been some, but most of them are uh, fucking dicks. They approach it in a very wrong way, and it's... Like, they don't treat you like yeah. you're human, basically. Uh-huh. Like They just come person. up like, oh, my God, oh, my God. Like, like you're in a ch- fucking zoo. Out, bro. I'm you're a fucking walk, zoo dude, animal. Like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? If, yeah, like, chill, my if boy. You, if you see a fucking famous person, and they're, like, coming out of a restaurant, even if it's fucking annoying to ask them, you'd be like, hey... Call them by their fucking name. And be like, can I ask you a quick question? Like, uh-huh. like I I won't even record it if you unless you give me permission. And like the fucking artist might even be like, dude, you're the first fucking person that's been nice to me like about this type of shit. And they might even give you a good ass interview. You never know. But most of the time, you know, they're probably like another fucking paparazzi. What the fuck do they want? I I feel like paparazzi ruin it for actual fans or like actual reporters. Yeah, because actual fans will go up to him like a little kid can go up to him and be like, hey, tell me a girl. But he's like, no, 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 because he's like traumatized by the paparazzi. And like not even a fan can go up to him and like try to get a picture because then all the paparazzi are gonna follow and shit. Remember, Mark, you remember I rolling that one? We we saw Jordan Bell. Oh, yeah, we, we saw um a warriors, warriors play at rolling loud this before we even get to ask him anything he was like nah 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 no like yeah no I picture thought, like 
I no, we asked. I think we asked but him. Like, if we could take a picture. Yeah. I think Mark I, asked him, I and he was like, he was like, nah, just not, not today, guys. Yeah, like, no, he was. Oh, I guess he, he was so he was nice as about well. it. But at first, I think he thought I was gonna be annoying. Yeah, and, I was like, and that's valid. I was like, I was like, oh, I didn't hear that. I'm a big fan of. Uh, I was like, I'm cool. a big fan of the school. Let's take a picture real quick. And he was like, he was like. Oh, no, bro, I'm not taking pictures. Like, I'm just trying to enjoy my time. I was like, oh, okay, for sure. I just yeah. left. Yeah. I guess I, he's trying to be normal, but what yeah. do you expect, though? Like, Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we're, we're not going to be like, yeah. You're going to roll yeah. out in and, Oakland. And he, Dude, like, he okay. wasn't even in the VIP section. Yeah, he was literally, yeah, he was general, like, uh, yeah, by like the right. bathrooms, like in front. Over but there. it was, was cool like, that he was cool about it. Yeah. 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 I was just Definitely. kind of like really bummed out because I actually was a fan of him when he played for the Warriors. And I was like, damn, like. This would have been cool as fuck to show like my mom because she's a fucking Warriors fan too. Yeah. I was like, but it's all good. Like all respect. It's hella cool to talk about though. Yeah, it's. A, I mean, I hella forgot, but I did. Yeah. That is a celebrity I've Dude, yeah. I've seen and talked Dude. to. I want to ask you as a question. Oh, you did say yours. He said, Never mind. If you could prevent any crime from ever being committed again, which would it be? But you have to be the one to commit the crime. Once. Hey, wait. Why are you laughing, <laughs> bro? Why are you laughing, bro? Oh, boy, I, I thought know, about that I shit two years ago. I say stealing because you could steal something that's worth like a dollar and then nobody steals again. I and think that, what and Josie like, and that's steal what? I think what Josie was saying was like a big thing, like something you see in your history book type of shit. Yeah, it can be, but for her it can be stealing. <laughs> well, because it's like I don't want to commit any other crime and then cr- right. stealing is but, still a big thing. But think about this. You can help prevent anything yeah. from happening. Like- if you were the one that did that crime, could you also change how you did it? What do you mean? Like if you said murder someone, like someone that murdered like a like Abraham Lincoln or something. Could uh-huh. you like or JFK or whatever, just someone that gets murdered, would you be the person that like decides how you murder them? Like could you change things? Like the way you murder them, like shoot them or stab or them like, or like that's, that's what I said. I would say I'll steal something that's like a dollar and I would like change like Dealing like, it's, it's, like art exhibits out. It's any crime. Any crime. It doesn't but matter the no way you do it. Murder is murder. But I'm asking homicide, like, homicide, homicide. Do you have to recreate it the exact same way that double it happened? Homicide. It, no. Murder is murder. Whatever way. Oh, I can fucking homicide. kill somebody, stab somebody, murder, murder. <laughs> well, you guys were all talking about like like pretty basic stuff, not on the lie. I was oh, thinking more okay. of... No, no. <laughs> Like Joseph Stalin type of shit, you know, like this fool like killed 50 million people. Oh, okay, yeah, 50 million people, you know, that's that's think about it. You know, I can't really blame him though, in a way, because like, yeah, he killed probably a bunch of people unfairly, however, he did modernize the fuck out of Russia. Like, Russia went from a farm country to like a superpower in competition with the US because of him. Does that justify killing 50 million people, though? I'm not sure, because think about, like, the gulags and stuff. Like, what was the point of that? So I guess what I'm trying to say is that if I was Joseph Stalin and I had to kill 50 million people, I wouldn't send them to gulags. What's the point of that? I would probably just send them if, because what Russia wanted was world dominance, I would just send them to fucking war. And, I mean, I have to kill 50 million people, according to what you're saying, right? All right. No. Hey, hey, I like his idea. But if you murder, I like his idea. Then they can't murder. Not to be fucked up, but I do. Anymore. 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 So they can't murder one or fifteen million people. Yeah. So then you would have to kill one. Murder fifteen million of my enemies. If you want, yeah. Trying to trying to conquer, complete my mission. No, but that makes sense. He said, "Yeah." What's the crime? What's the crime? Murder. Murder, right? Murder. So So if you murder someone, then I'm not murdering. So you are murdering. So this is but a unintentional. <laughs> it, it's but just his question was, what is the crime that you would? Like, and that, that's what a lot of country have forever, done. But you have to do it. So you're just murders. I, th- I was thinking yeah, becoming a like fucking dictate, dictating shit. Like I want to fuck control whole ass country and do you whatever the fuck I want. You guys are overthinking the question, <laughs> bro. Oh, I want to run and the makes bitch. It's more fun, but, though. Hey, Isn't it more fun not, to think about? Hey, I would redo Chernobyl. You would what? I would do Chernobyl. What is that? Like um, the the radioactive, um, the nuclear like leak thing, whatever, where like a bunch of radiation was spilled, and like that's forever gonna stay in the world. It's never gonna go away. Like so, you would do that once. I would do it, but not in the not in the on this planet. Oh okay. I would try to go to a different. But planet. But when did that happen? Huh? When did that happen? In like 
Yeah, some shit. So you would fuck up. So some they were able to shoot something from Earth to the moon back then. So if I have, so if I'm, if I'm restricted based on like yeah, yeah, actually obviously. being there, because you would, you, you would want to do it. Before I would happened, do though. it in an un- uninhabited island, like the ocean. So like an island yeah, in the like ocean. In no. Yeah, keep in mind that where that happened, there was people. So like, think about it. Like, don't make it easy. Like an escape. Try to think about it. Like, okay, there's gonna be people, and people are probably gonna die because they did. You so gotta think about murder. So think about killing somebody. Bro, That's what you have to do when you when you do a crime. <laughs> you guys are trying to make the question too easy. You're like trying to s- wash it. Yeah, it's not easy. It's, it's not. That's why. That's the fun part of the question. That it's not easy. It's like oh shit. Like no, I'm I gotta be a whore. It's not easy. It's just more humane. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. Well, it's well, like just murder fifty million. It's <laughs> not that <laughs> hard. <laughs> hey, hey, just do it, bro. About committing crime, you gotta do like some inhuman shit. Once thinking about the no rush mission on Call of Duty. <laughs> you guys on oh, the airport? <laughs> oh hell no! Yeah, you, you, hey, have y'all seen Chief Keef at Mars? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys seen it? It's supposedly they found like a a doorway in Mars. Yeah. Supposedly. What? Yeah, they found a like uh, well, not someone a door, edited but... like Chief Keef on that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like a cave. <laughs> like, this is a, like a cave. Oh, like a portal. Yeah. yeah. Look, look. <laughs> he was like. 300. Is that Glow Boy? His <laughs> shirt says lead, never follow. <laughs> hey, how do y'all feel that like the FBI casually just said, yeah, there are UFOs? Y'all uh, seen that? that? I heard that. I heard yeah, that. they literally have like documents yeah. from like the 50s that they released publicly because it's been like a certain amount of time and it has like information on hella shit. They, like, they have to. They have pictures and like, Dude. like actual documents like from the government that literally say unidentified flying object flying here and like at like F-18 planes like back in like the fucking 90s like uh-huh. flying and they have like pictures and shit of like fucking little ass things flying and like people saying like yeah like like actual voice like of pilots and shit saying like they don't know what the fuck that is they're like yeah something just flew by us we don't know what it is like it's not even on the radar and I'm like bruh and now they release it like oh yeah just so y'all know there is UFOs just so you know they're like, <laughs> we're like not saying I, there's I aliens some I think I supposedly they were supposed to release everything about when Trump was still um, a president in June of 2021 I believe damn they were supposed to release every document about UFO but for some reason they didn't I've heard someone say that I don't know who we're not even getting along with our own humankind what we're literally think, going to war bro yeah against each other all I know human. is Imagine knowing an alien flying through and right in front of us. Hey, what the fuck do you think we're going to do? <laughs> like, not, come on, like, bro. And the ocean. Oh, here we go. The ocean. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I agree. What if they, they're they like, we got the first alien and it's under us. They It comes from above us, but their hideout, they've been here for hundreds oh, of years and it's fuck. in the ocean. I bro, we would never know. And they just... Are, and, and there's... And, and our hey, 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 the hey, ocean hey, split and hey, the spaceship just hey, pop out. Hey. Our technology is not capable of going underground because of pressure. It'll crush Ooh. us and we just can't do it. That's a fucking alien force field, bro. <laughs> That's hey, you know what I would do? You know what die I if you go too deep. Too much you know to be what I would handled. do? I'll look at the sky, wait for fucking uh, Hulk, Thor. <laughs> I'll wait for all the motherfuckers. Hey, hey, you know who's gonna be coming down though? Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and the hey, rich honestly, motherfuckers. Donald Elon Trump Musk will be, be everyone. <laughs> Probably. Let's let's talk a little bit about Johnny Depp, all right? Okay. Fuck that bitch, Emma. Let's she just snort cocaine in the middle of a fucking <laughs> process. Okay. She can't answer the damn question. Her uh, fucking lawyers are ass. <laughs> That's for a fact. Who, Whoever who, seen... Fucking Amherst's lawyer, don't ever hire them because they did not know how to fucking ask questions. Yeah. Fucking birch. Dude, their questions are oh, fucking Camille. stupid. Funny. Yeah, basically. Okay, okay, so okay, basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. she sued him at first because she was saying that he she, he beat her and treated her terribly. So she sued him, and I think she won that case. And yeah. he had to pay a $7 million, like to her. So... Years later, he got like kicked off of Pirates of the Caribbean, lost roles and everything, and he's suing her now for defamation. Mm-hmm. So like he's saying like, oh, what well, you told like publicity, TMZ, and all these other sources about me is not true, 
and because like, of that it's making me lose opportunities to right. work and you're also lying about me actually beating you because none of that happened so now that's a whole it's other case they're actually and he's actually saying that uh she did a lot of it actually yeah so she did it to herself and she would like record their fights and she would be like the instigate like the instigator yeah. and yeah. shit yeah. so like she would be the aggressor and but she claimed that he was always the aggressor and always like hit her and this and that even though so far there has been out of all the time she's recorded there's no medical records that show that she's ever been abused mm -hmm. She's given a handful of stories of how badly she's beating her to the point where she can't even open her eyes. There's zero medical records. She says that there's been blood on the walls. Zero pictures of that. Her face being all fucked up. Zero pictures of that. There's pictures. She said, I have a bruise kit. I mean, uh. <laughs> <laughs> a bruise kit? A bruise kit. That's she said a that? Specific she said, kit. She said, so why is the case she said I have a bruise kit. I mean, uh, it's yeah, a theater kit and like it covers up went. bruises. So right now, yeah, it's. I think they're in cross examination, so both of them gave their own cases. Also, and stuff. I think that they said that they uh, in every lawsuit, there's or like in that kind of case, that there's like a specific amount of time that they get, and like mm -hmm. after the time's done, they can't talk anymore, and it's up to the jury to decide, yeah. uh, like to reach a verdict. So I think they're almost done with that, like they're almost done with the time. So that's why now they're just trying to poke at everything, like fuck, yeah, yeah, fuck, yeah. fuck. We gotta get something to get and them. So on. far, they haven't really gotten anything on him. Yeah. And it's mostly like her, like catching her in her own lies and shit yeah. like that. And and I don't know how it's gonna work, cause honestly, I'm the worst with this shit. But she has like physically assaulted him. Right. And she and you have that recording too, that yeah. of her saying, "I didn't punch you, Johnny. Like, I hit you. Like, stop being a but pussy." But I didn't punch you. Shit. Yeah. Like, be a man. Yeah. Blah blah blah. She's like, I didn't punch you, I hit you. So, it's like, what? Yeah. All right, Shove It podcast crew. Uh, today we are presenting with a good friend of ours and hopefully a new Shove It podcast member. So, say hello, Juan. Good evening. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Juan. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself, Juan. How do you know us? Well, when did you meet each one of us? That's a great question. Quick. Bao, eighth grade, he was hanging out with all the Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Javi, wait, 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 Eli. Javi was a swag addict. <laughs> he had hella swag. swag addict. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, pull the picture up, bro. Pull the picture up. Can I say, bro? My tocayo, playing soccer. America. <laughs> yeah. I always guess played for Chivas. America. Marcus. I met Marcus like sophomore, freshman year, but we started talking sophomore. <laughs> and then ends. Yeah, ends. About sophomore year. Staring house? Yeah. Why'd you laugh though? He was like the Schaefer science teacher. Yeah. <laughs> you got a couple of stories to tell us about Winterstein. When y'all got out a yelling battle with each other, <laughs> bro, I was bad. Didn't Juan make her like hella? Yeah, like, hella upset. bad. Dude, she apologized. To yeah, me. <laughs> I didn't care, bro. Yeah, bro, I just pretended I was hella sad. Cause what did I say, Mark? Cause me and you were talking about like uh, <laughs> Hinduism and like their beliefs, and you were like, "Yeah, I kind of believe in this and that, and that, and this." And she laughs. She's like, "That's not true." No, she and was like, "Well, yeah, your religion is stupid." She yeah. she said that, and I was like, <laughs> but, "Yeah, but I'm not Hindu." I yeah. Know. But I was just like, yeah. oh no 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 no! <laughs> she she, she she didn't know we were talking about Hinduism, but she she heard that you were saying like, yeah, my religion we believe in blah 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 blah, and she was like, oh, yeah, that religion sounds stupid or something like that. And then you were like, I was like, that's his religion, and then she was like, oh, oh no, sorry about that. No, she literally like walked away, but she came like at the end of class and said like, oh, I'm sorry about that, Juan, and I was like. <laughs> hey, and the next time she graded your test, she's like, "Hey, bus." Hey, but as soon as she walked away, I turned around to Mar like, <laughs> "Yeah, I know, I was dying. I was like, dude, no way she apologized to you. What the fuck?" I, I, hey, how about Schaefer though? She uh, was a Raider Schaefer. fan though. <laughs> Makes sense. I love Schaefer, dude. I thought it was the weirdest thing. One time, Schaefer went into Moradkan's class. And then Marad kind of was like, look at that sexy motherfucker. <laughs> and and Schaefer just turned around like, yeah. And he just left. I was like, Ugh. I don't know. 
Hey, bro, I, I just got. Like that. I, I just got one question. How do I cop that merch? Cause that shit's fucking wet, bro. So you can find the merch at. Uh, uh, it'll be available within the next month on the Shove It Podcast dot com. What's the deadline? Today is a. Uh, or you can. Um, you can pre-order. You can Shit, they're they're uh Jeez, they're the made first. they're made for order. If you order one, we make it for you. Yeah, right now they're but only if available you want one, on special we'll, we'll requests. Make one for you. Yeah, right, right, now. right now they're only on special requests because we haven't had the website up and running. So whoever is watching this and wants a shirt, just let us know. We'll make it work for you. Um, yeah. So what size you got? How many shirts are out right now? We just have these shirts in various colors. Limited edition. Prototype. Here, let's get some money. There's, nothing, there's nothing in the back, bro. <laughs> oh, there's nothing in the back. Oh, damn. Damn, you're hella strong, boy. Just, just the, the, the. Honestly, that lighting is probably better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hella bright. Solid. Look at that. <laughs> Everyone's sweating. <laughs> Can we make some limited edition snapbacks? Snapbacks. My boy said snapbacks. Snapbacks. There, there is Don't. a way to do it with uh, snapbacks as well. Or we can make trucker of, heads. Yeah, like, yeah, that'd be yeah, cool. like trucker the heads. Trucker hats. Do it with that. Yeah. I always wear we should Nike do it with it. Like a Nike hat like that. Might as well. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's end it. All right, we'll... guys. Thank you for watching <laughs> podcast number <laughs> six. Um, stick around for the next one. Uh, suggestions? We'll, we'll yes. If you guys, hold on. Patreon. Hold on. If you, if you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Maybe you, we will talk about your topic. Um, we probably will because there probably won't be that many comments as of now. But in the future, feel free to leave comments. Let us know what the hell y'all want us to talk about. And um, like always, live life and vibe. We appreciate live y'all. And vibe. Have a good night. Always try See to you prosper. next. Yep. See you next episode. Night. And then I will shove it in your throat. Late, 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 late.